My brothers and sisters in Christ, we have entered into our Lenten journey. In these 40 days of Lent, we are remembering the 40 days that Jesus Christ spent in the desert, preparing for his mission of proclaiming the gospel. So we are walking with Jesus during this uh, period of penance, prayer, and charity. As we make our way to Holy Week and Easter Sunday. <clears throat> but this is also a very special Lent, as we all know. Because during this time, we are going to be preparing to receive a new Pope. Because as we all know, Pope Benedict XVI uh, made the decision to uh, resign as uh, the Holy Father by the end of this month of February. So we want to pray and offer our sacrifices for the Universal Church at this important time of transition. And we especially pray for Cardinal Mahoney and the College of Cardinals as they exercise the sacred du duty of the election of our next Pope. Uh, this past Friday, I sent a letter to all the priests of the Archdiocese uh, to ask precisely for prayers for Cardinal Mahoney as he travels to Rome for the election of the new Pope and for the College of Consultors. I hope that we all, during this same time, as uh, the uh, um, month comes along and the Holy Father uh, finishes his, uh, his uh, time as successor of Peter, and then the cardinals of the College of uh, Electors will elect the new Pope in the month of March, probably, uh, uh, fulfill, as I said, the sacred duty of electing the new Pope. I think we also should have, especially in our prayers, our Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI. I'm sure that for him, it is a time of great emotion as he's getting ready to step down as Pope. So let's, let us accompany him with our prayers. And uh, pray, prayers of thanksgiving to God for the witness of his life and his teaching. So it is indeed an interesting Lent that I hope, as I said at the beginning, it must be a special time of grace, a special time of grace for all of us. As we do every year, we begin Lent reflecting on the temptations of Jesus Christ in the desert. It is always a, an interesting, interesting mystery for us to reflect on. And we always have to ask ourselves, why did Jesus, the Son of God, allow himself to be tempted by the devil? But then we have to keep in mind that Jesus went into the, the desert right after he was baptized by St. John the Baptist in the uh, Jordan River. And as we all know, Jesus was baptized in order to show us that he is our brother and our friend. And that he shares in our human condition and stands with us in our weakness. So, this sin of the gospel, of the temptations in the desert that we have just heard, is an image of our own lives. Just as Jesus was baptized and sent out into the desert, each of us is baptized and sent out into the wilderness of this world to live our Christian life. And in our lives, 
we face trials and temptations, just as Jesus did. The basic temptation that we all face is to forget about God or to move God into the background of our lives. To think that we can rely on our own strength, on our own abilities. To think that we can try to control things. My brothers and sisters, we know that we cannot live without God. We cannot live as if we do not need him. The truth is, That without God, we can do nothing. But with Him, with God, we can move mountains. With God, we can have the strength to do all things and overcome any temptation and any difficult situation in our own lives. So, this Lenten season, Let's try to learn again how to live in the presence of God. Let's try to learn again how to live with Jesus, how to be men and women of faith, how to follow Jesus, how to trust that, that God is the source of our lives. In the second reading today, St. Paul tells us that if we believe in Jesus with all our hearts, we will be saved. If we believe in Jesus, he will go with us. Remember, he is our brother and our friend. He will strengthen us by the graces he gives us in the sacraments by the teachings and the example that he gives us in the Gospels. He will guard us and protect us from evil. So if we have faith in Jesus as we do, he will bring us through the desert of this world. Because my brothers and sisters, God wants us to have a happy life and to be holy. That's the whole story of the world. The history of the world is the history of salvation. That's what we hear in today's first reading. God is always entering into the lives of his people. He listens to our prayers. He comes with his strength to help us, to support us, to be with us. And he stretches out his arm to lift us up, to deliver his people as we heard today, from evil and sin. So yes, as we start this uh, holy season of Lent, God is still with us in all our struggles against temptations and sin. He wants to live with us. And he wants us to be holy people. So why was he allowed to be tempted? Because he wanted to show us that he is our brother and our friend. And as he was able, because he's God, the son of God, to reject any temptation, he's telling us that if we walk with him, if we trust in him, we are open to his grace and to his strength, we can overcome any temptation. He allows us to be tempted, tempted so that, that he can help us to grow in, hum, in humility and that we put all our trust in him. On our part, it makes sense that sin, that he wants to be with us, to go with us, that we also make good resolutions during this time. It is a time of prayer and fasting and works of charity. So today, on the first Sunday of Lent, it is a wonderful time to make practical resolutions. 
for this Lenten season. Isn't that our tradition, that we always give up something for Lent? Isn't a beautiful tradition in the life of the church in our country that during Lent we all try to make the effort to go to daily Mass as often as we can? So beautiful resolutions, daily Mass, going to confession, visiting the sick and the elderly, teaching the children by your example, praying as a family. It is a holy time. So let's ask for the grace to make those resolutions, to live these times as a special time in our lives and in our families and in our church. And let us ask Mary, the Holy Mother of God, to accompany us on the journey of Lent. Let us keep our Holy, pa our Holy Father and our universal church in prayer these weeks to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.